Hi, this is Mark from LongIWatch.com, and today I'd like to do something a little bit different with the video, um, more of like a blogging thing. It's going to be a little bit of a series on American-made watches. Um, and it, well, I'm laying down the foundations for future videos where I'm going to show you uh, watches and movements and stuff that are, are trying to be made in the USA. Uh, well, obviously with the ultimate goal of me selling them. But I feel it's important enough to give you a little bit of background to the whole topic. Uh, so let's talk for a minute about made in the USA and what it means. Well, any slogan made in the USA or American made, anything that kind of sounds like it's made in the USA, the FTC is a very stringent guideline. And the guideline is, is that nearly all, 100% of the item must be made in the USA. You cannot make parts overseas, bring them in, assemble them here, and say made in the USA. It is not. That is called assembled in the USA, which is also regulated uh, and very different. Uh, why do I say this? Well, the, the Swiss have a whole, the FHS has a whole thing about what makes Swiss made, and I've done a video on that. 60% of uh, value has to be Swiss, uh, the movement has to be Swiss, final QA has to be Swiss, blah, blah, blah. have all these guidelines. Whereas in the USA, it's fairly simple, 100%. Well, they say nearly 100%. So I don't know what that nearly is, but I guarantee you it's almost nothing. Uh, so why, why am I starting this? Why am I bringing this up? Well, there is a brand called Shinola, which you uh, more than likely know. They're pretty famous, out of Detroit. Three years ago, the FTC, Federal Trade Commission, came down on them pretty hard. Uh, and it's because of a lot of... Um, groups of people, uh, what do you call them, watchdog groups, and uh, a lot of people in the watch industry were screaming that, hey, Chanel is giving this slogan, I forgot what they called it, where America is made or something. Basically, the slogan was, you know, basically it was trying to make you elicit American made or think of, of American made. And they're all saying they're not American made. They're bringing things in from overseas. They're assembling them in Detroit uh, and marketing them. The, you know, it, they're not made in America. And from what the stories are, you know, the FTC gave them a couple warnings and nothing happened. So the FTC really came down pretty hard on them and basically told them, you got to change everything. And they did. They changed all their labeling uh, to, you know, to be complicit with uh, the labeling law of what is made in the USA. Uh, most notably, their movements are not <laughs> made in the USA. I mean, the most important part of the watch is not made in the USA. They are foreign movements. Um, why? Well, almost no, I don't think there are any American movement makers, except for people making their own little, you know, uh, small, I guess, boutique level movements. There's nobody making movements in this country. And that's kind of the, what I want to talk about in this video and, and where I'm going. I, so there are a couple of people that I know in the industry and not long ago, a few years ago, they started company called Fine Time Peace Solutions. And one of the products of Fine Time Peace Solutions is uh, a movement called AmeriCourts. Yes, it's a courts movement. Uh, you, you, you crawl before you run. So they're starting with courts movements with the goal of eventually expanding to, you know, mechanical and automatics. But they are making courts movements in the USA, in Fountain Hills, Arizona. Uh, they are assembled of foreign and domestic components with the goal to vertically integrate and make everything here in the U.S. The really hardest part about making a watch in the States is getting it to be, is getting the movement to be U.S. made. There's so many little pieces in a movement that sourcing them in the U.S. is expensive, it's nearly impossible at some point. Um, you can get a machine house to machine you a case. They're a dial maker stateside. You could get hands case backs. There are straps, of course, um, you know, movements though. That's a tough one. So that is where this whole AmeriCorps, uh, you know, topic comes in or this brand comes in with the goal of, of putting these AmeriCorps movements in these American made watches. Uh, so I'm going to, I'll do some twisty turning on the camera while I'm talking. Uh, and you could see this is a watch by the brand uh, Brillier, which I've shown on uh, Instagram. And this watch uses an AmeriCorps movement. It's a movement that they make in Arizona. I uh, assemble it. So the watch is truly assembled in the USA from foreign and domestic components with the goal of eventually making everything stateside. You might say, oh, well, it's still a cheap courts movement. Nothing could be further from the truth. 
while being you know while being assembled in the USA currently it, it does have a premium on the movement of course but you know with uh, economies of scale that premium will dissipate uh, it's just simply made much better so these are movements that came you know I don't want to say the quartz crisis the quartz crisis more or less for you and I was really the digital crisis um, these are movements that came out before the race to the bottom on quartz movements began so they are movement technologies or it's basically they purchase the rights to um, manufacture certain movements uh, and it's all me metallic parts no plastic uh, regulated he yes you regulate a quartz movement yes you have to regulate it to a uh, to an oscillator standard uh, all done here in america again very difficult very expensive uh, but americorts is doing it and uh, they're doing it right here in arizona so like I said, this is only the first video. I wanted it to be quick just to kind of give you a background of what I'm doing. Uh, and you can weigh in with your comments on it and tell me what you think. Uh, and then in a future video, uh, I'm going to have AmeriCorp send me a bunch of movements. We'll look at some movements. We'll look at some Ronda movements as equivalents. We'll talk about the pluses and minuses uh, of both. Uh, and then eventually we'll get into watches and show you some of the watches. I like I did show on Instagram, there are other billier watches that use Miyota movements. Of course, Miyota is not a USA company, no problem. But in Arizona, they have an amazing, amazing capacity and skill to, to assemble watches that they actually take these Miyota watches and they regulate them to five positions uh, to 10 seconds each, which is simply uh, that's amazing for a Miyota based movement. Uh, they have some really talented, excellent people. Uh, certified Master Watchmaker 21s on staff that work there. So, you know, really cool stuff. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, this has been Mark from LongNightWatch.com talking to you a little bit about courts, AmeriCourts made in America or assembled in America movements. They almost did it. Uh, please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I will be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.